Hello everyone, I am back with another video. I will show you how you have to install Vivado in your system with low storage. If you have been struggling since long with limited storage but want to explore more FPGA design, this video is for you. I will walk through the steps that what all needed to save time and memory. Let's start. So for that, you have to go to Xilinx website over the Google. So you are going to see a download option. Once you are going to press this, the Xilinx AMD website will going to appear. So you have to check for the latest version, the version which is available with us, that is 2024.2. You have to drag it down and just check for the system configuration. So as I am using the Windows, so I am going to download the Windows signature key. So for that, what you have to do? You have to install this window self extracting web installer. So, right after downloading this thing, it will going to ask to log in to register with your mail ID. So, you can just register with your registered mail ID or whatever you want to go for it. And you have to create the password for that. After opening that, right after login to the page, you will going to see a form like that. And you have to fill all the basic entries which are available in the form. After that, you have to click the download button that will going to download automatically going to download the file into your system. Wait for some time. And meanwhile, I let you know that if you are struggling with the low storage capacity, so for that, what you can do, you can just check with the you can just check the C drive that how much space is available right now i am having enough space to install the vivado system so i let you know if in case you don't have the system capacity to install what you can do you can shrink the and or expand the size of the drives which are available with your system so most of the students technical students they used to create the partition of the c drive just to save some different files in different different folders so for that you have to go to this manage Okay, you have to go to the C drive of the manage this management and you can then expand the size of the C drive that will going to allow you to install the software. So, right after the downloading, you have to click to the software. So, so now the software will going to install at the back end side. So, let us just wait for some moment. So now you can see the system is automatically extracting the files. So let us just wait for few more seconds. And after that, I let you know that how you have to install the software. So for that, I have written some of the steps which are being involved that I have already told you that how you have to install the software from the website and which link you have to use. That also you I have already told you that which link you have to use it. And how you have to configure the requirements, that is what we will going to discuss right now. So now you can see this dialog box. So for that, you just have to go click next and you have to register your mail ID. Okay, whatever the mail ID you have registered, you have created the login ID password, you have to fill that. So I'm going to fill that. So now you can see I have installed i have logged in with my id to this dialog box so what i have to do i have to go for the reward we'll go with the ml enterprise version and then now this is the big step you have to follow so now you can see the download capacity over here you can see that it is showing 101 gb and this required is 256 gb i know i don't have that much of capacity so i'm going to reduce the burden for this tool so the installation guide i'm going to uncheck the installation guide options i don't i don't need anything further i'm going to uninstall the tools which i don't need either i'm going to work on the soc world right away and i'm not going to install the fitness tool it is model as well so these all things are necessary and uh, there will be one tool which we have to install that is the rtx so for that Okay, so you can go to the 7 series and you can just check mark to the RTX 7. So that is all what 
is it is required as of now so you can see the capacity has been shrink to 15 gb right now earlier it was showing 100 gb but now the storage the software uh, the size has been decreased to 15 gb and now i only require 57 gb on my disk space to install it so once i'm going to install this you can see this thing i have to agree with the uh, all the concerned things and uh, this will be all done automatically so if you want this is an optional step if you want if you don't want that your system should not install in c drives or something else you can just browse it and you can just go to and navigate to the particular drive where you want your software to be installed so right after when you are going to click so it will going to ask that you want to create a folder i'm going to say yes so this all will be done so i guess there is some uh, internet issue so it will going to install will going to take some time and it will going to install with this thing so you don't have to panic with any of the process so this is all about the installation that how you have to install the software and if there is anything specific you want to ask regarding this installation of the software you can just visit or you can just have assistance with me you can just write your mail to training at the rate vlsiinsights.com or you can just go to hr at the rate vlsiinsights.com and also i'm going to mention my emails in the description box you can check it thank you